Hey kid! Hey! Are those Beast Mastery Hunter Pros putting out way too advanced of videos for you to keep up with? Don't you just hate Cobra Shot? What do you think? This is Burning Crusade? Things have changed. Well, I wanted to go back and do a video on the basics. I want to save you a ton of time in learning how to play Beast Mastery Hunter. Why are we helping this nerd? Jaffy, he's not a nerd, he just needs a little bit of help. Okay, so maybe he's a nerd. Oh, what was your first clue? You know what, let's just get started on the VOD. The first thing you should know about Beast Mastery Hunter is that ranged auto attacks are automatic. You do not have to control these. Beast Mastery Hunter focuses on bows, crossbows, and guns as their main weaponry. There's an item in the game called Armor Skills, which when a Beast Mastery Hunter wears all mail armor, they gain 5% of their main stat. Your main stat as a Beast Mastery Hunter is agility. Make sure you are wearing all mail armor. You do realize that kid is wearing a hat with a fan on it. He has no mail armor. Yeah, I got that. Guys, if you like the video so far, make sure to sub to the channel. Hit that bell so you're notified whenever I go live. And make sure to follow me at my twitch.tv channel, Access Draven. I go live there about 9 p.m. Central Time most nights. One major thing to note is that Beast Mastery focuses on exotic pets. While all hunters can tame pets, exotic pets are only usable by BM. Exotic pets have one extra special ability. I believe at level 10 you'll be able to start taming pets. Abilities you will be able to control with your pets, growl, feed pet, the friggin' bacon's delicious, Ugh. Ugh. mend pet, I'm not feeling so hot. Hey, let me check your temperature there, pet. And tame pet. Stop cheating. Come on. Hey, 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 calm down. It's all right. It's all right. Hey, hey. Dismiss pet. You will also be able to carry up to five pets with you at all times. Plus, you have an additional stable. Hunters can now stable 205 pets as of Shadowlands. The main pets I focus on as a Beast Mastery Hunter are Undead Raptors because they are immune to Polymorph, Spirit Beast to gain the heal as well as Survival of the Fittest, which reduces damage you take by 20%, the T-Rex which comes with Leech and Immortal Strike, and finally the Cleft Hoof because it comes with Thick Hide which increases its armor. Clefthoof is a great pet for tanking instances and raid. There are other pets that do help, but these are the main ones that I run personally. The three types of pets are Cunning, Ferocity, and Tenacity. Cunning abilities include Pathfinding and Master's Call. Ferocity abilities include Predator's Thirst, Primal Rage. Tenacity abilities include Endurance Training and Survival of the Fittest. You can find all the information you want on any pet if you go to Petopia.com. Big shout out to Petopia. Yeah, but I just want to do damage. Yeah, we're getting to that right after we remind these guys to sub to the channel. Seriously, sub to the channel. Okay, starting on the Beast Mastery damage abilities, we'll start with Arcane Shot. Arcane Shot has very little use as it uses a high amount of focus. The only time I use Arcane Shot is in PvP when I verse a Paladin. When they use Blessing of Protection, you can shoot through Blessing of Protection as Arcane Shot is spell damage. Outside of this, I never use Arcane Shot. I do not even put it on my bars. If any other hunters found a good use for Arcane Shot, let me know. Now your main damage ability is going to be Cobra Shot. Cobra Shot is a ranged attack. This is going to be the move that you want to put on your easiest to use keybind. Your most used ability is going to be Cobra Shot. Cobra Shot has several uses. Cobra Shot is a main damaging ability, but it also lowers the cooldown on Kill Command, one of your harder hitting abilities. Currently, Cobra Shot does nearly as much damage as Kill Command. Cobra Shot helps reset the cooldown on Kill Command. Next, Barb Shot is a ranged attack that puts a bleed on the target and increases your pet's haste by 30% per stack. Barb Shot also lowers the cooldown on one of your major burst CDs. Barbshot also lowers the cooldown on Bestial Wrath by 12 seconds every time you use Barbshot. Bestial Wrath is one of your main burst rotations, we will talk about it in a little while. 
Kill Command gives your pet a charge ability and does damage on contact. It is not a ranged ability, it is used by the pet. Kill Shot is a finishing move that can be used when a target is below 20%. If you go the Venthyr Covenant, you will have another ability that resets the cooldown on Kill Shot that we will talk about later. Multi Shot is your AoE damaging ability. It hits multiple targets. It also sets up a move called Beast Cleave from your pet, which increases the amount of damage your pet does for 4 seconds after multi shotting. The damage increase has been changed a few different times, but I believe it is around 100% damage increase. Those are your main shots to focus on on Beast Mastery Hunter. Now when you want to get the most damage out fast, it's known as Burst in World of Warcraft. The three damaging abilities that are considered Burst for a Beast Mastery Hunter are Murder of Crows, which puts a dot of crows on a person for 15 seconds, Aspect of the Wild, which adds critical strike to your character, and Bestial Wrath, that adds damage by percent, noting that Bestial Wrath can be shortened on its cooldown by using Barb Shot. On the next section, we'll cover defensive cooldowns. Beast Mastery Hunter has many cooldowns. Exhilaration heals you and your pet by about 30% when used. Aspect of the Turtle is a major defensive that you can go into a shell and protect yourself. It needs to be noted that you do not stop all damage while you're inside Turtle Shell. Damage over time effects that were on you prior to using Turtle Shell still tick for 70% of their original damage. Turtle Shell can be used in three different ways. It can be used to defend yourself. It can be used to keep yourself out of enemy CC, as in crowd control and it can be used to res your pet. Disengage has multiple uses as well. You can use Disengage to avoid enemy damage. You can use Disengage to increase your run speed. Aspect of the Cheetah is just used as a speed boost. You can use this offensively or defensively. I like pairing Aspect of the Cheetah with my Medallion Trinket that freedoms me and allows me to have an extra freedom with run speed. Roar Sacrifice is a high-end ability that can be used to negate enemy mage's combustions. Camouflage can be used after feign death in order to get yourself back into camouflage even in combat. Or you can use camouflage to get a large opener or just skate around people you don't want to mess with. Feign death paired with the new legendary allows you to get rid of dots off of yourself. Dots are enemy damage over time effects. Feign death can also get you out of things like mage novas. You will need to use all these defensives in tandem to keep yourself up as a Beast Mastery Hunter. Wow, I learned a lot! You won't remember any of this, will you? Yeah, not a thing. Alright guys, we've come to the end of the video. Next time we're going to cover Talent Build as well as Utility and Covenant Choice. I hope to see you guys then. Make sure to sub. Make sure to hit the bell so you're notified when I go live. As well as make sure to follow me at my Twitch.tv channel, Access Draven. And I'll see you guys next time.